Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Mr Neary's challenge of the day. Today's challenge is called the quick hands challenge which is where you are going to be challenging yourself to try and do something as quickly as possible whilst keeping control of either a football, a cushion, the tennis ball, a resource pack ball, whatever you can find within the home or outside of your house in your garden to use for the challenge today. These are three perfect examples of things that you can use. There are lots of other things you can use. You can use your imagination as long as they are soft and they are not easily breakable, okay? So, uh, let me run you through the rules of the quick hands challenge today. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the football, okay? You can choose to do this with as many pieces of equipment or as many different items as you want to, but I'm going to be demonstrating with the football first. You then need to find yourself a space and you need to open your legs just a little bit wider than your shoulder width apart. So it means that you've got a little bit of space in between your legs that you're able to pass the ball under and over because we're going to start with the quick hands figure of eight challenge. So it means that we're going to start with the ball or the cushion or the tennis ball, whatever you have, and we're going to try and pass it underneath our legs over and under and round. So it means we're going in the same direction as the number eight. We're doing big circles around our legs and we're meeting in the middle, okay? Now, after you've had a little practice at this and you've warmed up and you think, okay, I'm getting much better at this now, start off really slowly, then you might be able to say that you're going to speed up a little bit. And then as you get better, you'll be able to speed up until you can keep the rhythm of the ball going just like so. A little bit like what the professional basketball players will show you, especially when they're doing some fancy skills. Now, your challenge today is going to be to see how long it takes you to do 20 passes. Now, 20 passes is, well, in fact, one pass is where you pass the ball into your other hand. So that's one pass. Bring it round. Two pass. Bring it round. Three pass. Then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. And I want you to try and get to 20. So before you start, make sure you have somebody that's either going to time you or if you have a mobile phone device and it's in a safe area, you can put it down on the floor a little bit further away from you than uh, by your feet so then you don't stand on it or drop the ball on it. You can then go up to it, you press start and then you can get started. Once you've completed your 20 passes, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 20 for example, then you can go up to that device and press stop just to see how long it's actually taken you. So that is challenge number one, quick hand challenge. Okay, number one, write the rules down in your book, in your resource book, write down what piece of equipment you're using. You can use cushions, you can use tennis balls, you can use footballs, anything that is soft and safe to use, you can use, okay? Again, you can do this indoors or outdoors. And then we're going to move on to the second part of your quick hands coordination challenge today. The second part is where, again, you're going to start with, the, with your legs wider apart, okay, just to give yourself a little bit of a stronger foundation so then we don't lose our balance and fall over. The ball starts in front of us and we're going to try and bring the ball around our hips and our waist, round the back and round the front. Okay, and every time you pass the ball at the front, okay, then that will count as one pass. So we'll go round and that's one, round, two, round three round four and again as you get better you can start to pass the ball at a much faster speed okay and keep control of the ball at the same time okay and this time you're going to try and get to 10 okay so 10 passes so one two three four five six seven eight nine Whoop, nearly lost it, and 10. Okay, if you drop the ball, it doesn't matter, keep the timer going, okay, it has no issues with dropping the ball in this one. You don't go back to zero, you will continue, but of course your score will be affected if you drop the ball because it will take a lot longer time, okay? Now, lastly, most people, children and adults, they will bring the ball and start it on their dominant side, so on their strong side. If you're right-handed, most people go this way, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to practice both, not just for the figure of eight, 
but also for this challenge as well. So you'll see in the figure of eight, I went this way, okay? So next time, I want you to start it with your left hand and then go that way. So it means that your left hand starts and finishes with the ball. Same on the actual rotation around your hips and around your waist. I want you to, instead of going that way, you might want to go this way. And that's got a really different feeling when you're trying to control the ball. And I can't go anywhere near as fast by going in this direction as I do if I go in this direction, just because I'm using my less dominant hand, okay? So have a go in both directions, use both hands. Remember the challenge is to try and see how long it takes you to get to 20 with the figure of eight, 20 passes, so one, two, three, and so on, okay? And then try and get to 10 rotation passes. So rotate all the way around, one, two, three, four, and so on. Remember to time them, see how well you manage to do it on the first attempt, second attempt, third, and then don't forget to try and go the other way and that will feel really different and probably a lot more difficult and it should challenge you as best as possible for your own level as long as you go at your own speed it should be challenging it's not meant to be easy so it should be challenging you okay so good luck don't forget to write all of the details down